Good morning. It's Friday, October 23rd, 2020. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, The Marriage of Devotion to Doing. And our scripture is Paul's epistle to Titus, chapter 2. For the grace of God has been revealed, bringing salvation to all people, and we are instructed to turn from godless living and sinful pleasures. We should live in this evil world with wisdom, righteousness, and devotion to God, while we look forward with hope to that wonderful day when the glory of our great God and Savior Jesus Christ will be revealed. He gave his life to free us from every kind of sin, to cleanse us and to make us his very own people totally committed to doing good deeds. Titus was one of Paul's protégés who accompanied the apostle on his missionary trips, helping to start churches. As with others, Paul eventually installed Titus to be the pastor in Crete, a tough place for any pastor and especially difficult for a timid man. In that moment of history, Crete had a reputation paralleling Dodge City in the Old West in 1930s Chicago. You could not find a rougher place or one more filled with selfish ambition and ruthlessness. It was no place to kick back and enjoy the tea parties. The Cretan culture was more like one of those video games that keeps you on your toes because if you aren't more violent than the guy next to you, you're toast on a platter. Even today, being called a Cretan is a slur. Paul's epistle to Titus gives evidence that pastors in a place like Crete also need a pastor to encourage and remind them why they're there in the first place. Paul's preaching of such to his young pastor, as he also did with Timothy, had the purpose and plan for the church neatly tied up in four sentences. Because of God's grace and gift, we are to marry our devotion to doing for the glory of God. And for pastors, teaching and modeling this is the job description. The short sermon in this is, if you're going to claim the grace of God, you need to be ready to do the works of God as the only true measure of living in the hope of that coming day of the revelation of Jesus Christ. An even shorter slogan would be, if you're going to name it and claim it, you need to live it. For you today, how's this working for you? Are your good deeds, looking out for the needs of others, firmly married to your devotional love for Jesus? Are you truly living like our prayers suggest, in the name of Jesus? You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.